tired of MongoDB compass throwing that annoying icon refuse error. You have done everything, googled, reinstalled and it still won't connect. Frustrating right? Relax, I have got your back. I'll guide you installation process or battling connectivity problems step by step, once and for all. And once we are connected, I'll even show you how to insert data into MongoDB Compass using Postman and a RESTful API Node.js project the easy way. Hey everyone, welcome to Octocoder. Smash that subscribe button and let's get your database connected right now. Alright, let's dive into MongoDB Compass installation. If you haven't, make sure you have downloaded the MongoDB Compass MSI file. Not sure how? For those who are struggling to download MongoDB Compass, you can go to Google and search MongoDB and click on the first link that is mongodb.com official website. Okay? You'll notice that the website interface has updated since I posted my last video but process is still the same. Okay? Now for those who haven't downloaded MongoDB Compass 8 then follow me. Just click on products and in the drop down here in the tools section you'll see compass. So click on it. Then click on download button. Then here You'll see several options like the MongoDB shell. If you want to download shell, you can download here. But that's not what we need. Just scroll down and this is we want. MongoDB Compass Download GUI. This we are looking for. Here you can choose the versions. I'll suggest download latest table version. Then select your platform. If you using Windows 10 or 11, so pick the Windows 10 plus option and download the exe file. This will take a minute or two depending on your internet speed. Okay. Once it's done, go ahead and install it on your system. Okay. And if the .exe file doesn't work for some reason, then select here Windows 10 plus MSI and download MSI package. Okay. This is I downloaded and installed on my system currently. If you want full step by step guide on installation, please check out our previous video. In that video, we have shown all installation process step by step from scratch. Okay. Or just scan this QR code, you'll redirect it to full installation process. Okay. So I assume that all of you have downloaded and installed MongoDB Compass on your system. And you open your MongoDB Compass, you can search on Windows, MongoDB Compass and this one, open it after installation. Okay. Now the interface look little different. You can see in the last uploaded MongoDB Compass installation video. Okay. But don't worry process are same. If you already use compass before then just click on these previously created connections you will be connected to database. Okay. So for the first time learners just click on add new connection button here and now you can see this old interface right. Until now everyone has followed but here's the problem starts coming. Here nothing to change just copy this connection string and then click on save and connect. When you click on connect, some of you might get connected to localhost colon 27017 address and you are able to see the databases. But some of you get error like connect account refuse. So how to resolve this issue? It's very easy to resolve. Don't worry. In last video, I have explained this issue how to solve it. But again, I'm going to show you where is the problem whenever you get this type of error. Just open your task manager. Click on service tab, then scroll down and find MongoDB server. As you can see, this service is top on your system. That's the problem. So what you need to do is just right click on it and select start the MongoDB server. And once the server is running, go back to your MongoDB compass and now click on connect button. And boom, you should now be able to connect to your databases. Congratulations. You have just connected to your database on MongoDB Compass. Good job. We still not done it. We just established the connection. But the important thing is to insert data into database, right? So let's now insert data into MongoDB Compass. So we have built this Find My Restaurant project previously. If you are not familiar with it, please check out this series where I have built 8 to 9 RESTful APIs with multiple endpoints like adding restaurant, viewing all restaurants or filter them by ratings. You can also update 
and delete restaurant details. So like 8 to 9 REST APIs you will create in this project. Everything is explained step by step. So please check out this find my restaurant series. Okay. Now let's insert data into MongoDB compass. So let's start the server node app.js command in the terminal. As you can see still our project not connected to database. We got the error. So what should we do now? So let's open .env file and as you can see the db url path here is the same string and this is the database name. Okay. But still it didn't connect. So I have provided all the correct paths in case this first part some of you will get connected but as you see mine also didn't connect it. So let's comment out this path and uncomment the second part. Save the file and restart the server. And as you can see successfully connected to database. Great. So if some of you still not get connected then try these different paths that I have given in the .env file. Okay. Subscribe now. So now let's insert data into database using Postman. So let's open Postman and here I have previously added all path and data as you can see in the body here. So let's just change name field. Okay, then click on send button. If everything's correct, you should get 200 okay status code, which means the data was successfully added. So now let's check in MongoDB compass our data inserted or not. So here restaurant DB click on restaurants and here let's check last document and as you can see this one we just added perfect. So our data is inserting correctly. Congratulations you just inserted your data into MongoDB compass database. Good job and still some of you might didn't get connected. So I'll suggest reinstall your MongoDB compass. Also make sure your Microsoft.NET framework version 4.5 or above needed. That also update on your system okay and still didn't work then what you need to do is nowadays most of the laptop have only one c drive and you install everything on c drive don't do that so create new drive like i have in my system like d drive e drive you can make as much as you want according to your storage space so always make at least two drive don't install everything on c drive okay then uninstall all your mongodb compass restart the system then when you start installation process again then select the path where you want to install the software then give d drive path okay it's automatically c drive path selected and we just do next 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 process so make sure to give d drive path and install it on d drive okay once installed open mongodb and it will connect to database okay if you have successfully connected to your database and inserted data let me know in the comment below if you are still having issues feel free to drop a comment and i'll do my best to help you out if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to octacoder channel for more coding tutorials thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video